today we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop's new generative fill tool to make a really cool sci-fi shot just like this. Alright, so I'm in After Effects and I've imported in my shot here of uh, just a vertical image. So I just put the camera to the side and then I flipped it. Uh, 90 degrees and then I scaled it down and we got this so we got some empty frame on the left and the right side So we're going to figure out what we're gonna do on the left and right side um, Other things that I've done. I've done You know this cool building in the background and some trash over here and here's like a more apocalyptic wasteland here with with a kind of a mound there so I'm gonna you know, it's never gonna be the same thing you can't recreate AI twice as the saying goes um, so we're going to just take the first frame here and if you go to composition save frame as file you can um, save this as a photoshop file or a jpeg uh, just doing something like that uh, photoshop file will work fine all right so i've imported in the shot from after effects into photoshop beta which is currently i believe where you can find generative fill tool it's not going to be in your uh, vanilla photoshop it'll be in your beta photoshop so uh let's go make some stuff okay so i'm going to use the um rectangular marquee tool so if you hit m on your keyboard you can find that and just go down here to where kind of the ground is and then i'm going to Kind of select this, maybe select a little bit of the ground. And I'm gonna hit generative fill. And if you can you can type in things into this little prompt that comes up, or you can hit generate. And if you hit generate, it's just gonna do its best to expand things out using what you have already there. Um, and this is AI generated, so it uses AI to understand what this is, so it knows it's pavement and it kind of extends it out. And, and honestly, some of these are good. You can tab through and see a couple of images. I actually like some of these. Um, and I honestly will, uh, we can keep these and stuff like that. You might be wondering why I'm doing this in uh, quadrants. So I'm doing the bottom, top, and then I'll probably do that over here. And the reason is the um, generative fill tool is kind of low res. So if you keep this in like smaller areas, it will, uh, be a little more higher quality than selecting just the entirety of this side. So doing it in sections is a good thing. So if you didn't like anything that came about this, maybe you're like, okay, I want this to be more destroyed. So let's type in destroyed road and hit generate again. It's going to take a few and it's going to come up with some variations, some really cool variations. I kind of like that one. Oh, that one looks weird because of the perspective over here, but I'm kind of digging this one. I don't know what this is, but I like it. Um, so we're going to go with that one and let's go over here and let's add something and let's hit generative fill again and let's type in, I don't know what I want to type in. I want to type in, um, I want to type in destroyed building and hit enter. Now, one thing to note about this AI system that it uses Adobe stock images to create um, all of this. So it's using real life photos. So anything, like if you're trying to add a unicorn or a dragon, it's not gonna be very good. But if you're trying to add buildings and stuff that actually happens in real life, that it's gonna do much better at. So um, I'm kind of digging this one. Now, uh, one tip is that if you don't like any of them, you can just keep that same prompt and hit generate again. And um, it will take a second and then you'll see other ones with that prompt. All right. I'm liking some of that. Uh, th this one's kind of nice, but I'm thinking this one is my favorite so far. So I'm gonna do that. And over here, um, let's do, let's do like a, let's just generate fill and let's do destroyed road again and hit enter. Also, if you can see over here, it's non-destructive. So everything is going to be its own layer. Um, and we're gonna go through here I'm kind of liking that one, so we're just gonna we're gonna stick with that one. Then we're gonna add over here, and I'm just going to see uh, what we we can do here. I think I'm gonna add just to hit generate fill and see what it does for me, and hit generate. 
it adds a little cheesy lens flare on that one. That looks kind of interesting. Um, nothing that I'm loving here. Maybe let's uh, let's add uh, another destroyed building. Let's just do that and let's see what happens. Okay, we're getting somewhere here. I kind of like that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I'm liking either this one. I like that. I like this one. Or, or this one. I kind of like this one more. And one thing I'm noticing is that this like road is a little bit wonky. So I'm going to hit generative fill again and hit generate. And it kind of like is a little, it looks like the perspective is a bit off. So I'm gonna, just going to change it. Perfect. That looks great right there. So now we have this amazing like apocalyptic wasteland thing. I kind of maybe want to add some clouds. So that's pretty easy. I'm just going to circle this area here uh, and type in, let's say dark moody clouds. And the reason why I'm adding stuff up here is because I know my actor, if he f went over any of this stuff, he would get in front of this and then you would have to rotoscope, but he doesn't walk past any of this. Um, and he doesn't past the sky so it's easy to add like clouds or something why is there a little otter up in the sky anyway all right i'm i'm digging i'm digging this right here so right there we've added a really good cloud already and it looks pretty cool this is really cool now, now let me just show you the the original just to just to show you the original that's what it looked like and added it makes the scene look insane you know so um, so let's uh, bring this over to After Effects. So let's turn off our original layer and we have this um, image uh, and then we're just going to hit Control S and we're going to save this as either a Photoshop file or a PNG. Either one will work and we're going to import it into After Effects. And I dragged it onto our video here and it transformed this image and we can play forward and it's just this insane um, scape. Uh, right here. So it looks really cool. So I'm actually going to do one thing here. If you notice that the image here is a lot sharper than the image here, and it's just due to the AI stuff. So if you add in like an unsharp mask or a sharpen effect, you can up this, I don't know, to eight. And that's going to help match it a little bit better. So if I turn this off and on, it's just going to match that grab a little bit better and make it seem like it's really there. And you know, something like this, you know, we could have easily in After Effects removed this uh, if we didn't like it, but I kind of liked it, so I'm gonna keep it in like that. All right, so now that we have this awesome shot, let's add something fun in there. Let's add in our spaceship. So I'm gonna add giant spaceship number two, landing front to side on top of everything. And it's a big file, but we're going to just move it along the, uh, the layer here. And you know what? We're gonna place it right about here. And let's say like these people are visiting uh, Joey here to give him good or bad news. And honestly, I might make this super big. I might scale it up. I hit S on my keyboard to get the scaling, by the way. And uh, he's a little bit in front of that. So we're going to duplicate our Joey and we're going to open up our roto brush tool by clicking it up here and i've done a bunch of tutorials on roto brush i've even done a tutorial on masked prompter which is a paid plugin but i'll use uh, roto brush because not everyone has masked prompter um and because this is such an easy shot i'm just gonna hit freeze and it should be all ready to go all right now it is frozen uh meaning it's just uh uh, you can't mess with it now, and uh, because we put it above the ship here, when the ship lands, he's in front of it. Uh, the ship needs to be a little bit color corrected, so I'm going to add a Lumetri color effect. And if you don't know what this prompt is, it is called Effects Console by Video Copilot. It is a free plugin. It is an essential plugin for me for After Effects, so go download that if you want. But you can also find anything that I uh, like in the Effects and Presets section. All right, so then we can go into Basic Color Correction. And we're going to set the tint a little bit more green because you can see that uh, when I reset this, is it, this is a little purpley blue, which is how most cameras see, but I put a little bit of a color grade onto this. So I'm going to set this to a little bit more of a green and maybe make it a slight bit more blue and maybe make it a little bit more green just like that and maybe mess with the exposure just a tad bit and the contrast 
just to make things uh, match up a little bit better, maybe bring the exposure down a little bit. It's kind of all to eye, really. To really tie in this, I'm going to add something that's also in our sci-fi pack. This is also from our sci-fi pack. Um, the smoke uh, front, so ship to smoke front effect. And it's basically just smoke that looks like, you know, that, that a spaceship's like dusting up. So I think it will work for this like dusty city thing. So I'm going to scale it up and place it. And the color's a bit off, obviously, because it's more like dirty. But I'm going to make it look like gray. So I'm just going to add a tint effect and just lower the amount tint just a little bit. And then I'm going to lower the opacity of this effect just a little bit to make... Uh, for an interesting uh, effect here. Okay. So, now that I've added that, we have this really cool sci-fi scene, mostly using AI uh, to make this really awesome shot, and something that you couldn't really do before. This would have took me hours to do, and it just took me minutes to do. That's AI, baby. <laughs> And that was it. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, comment, and like this video if you thought it was helpful. Have a great day, everyone.